everyone welcome to my channel the cloud box this is the next video inside the data factory playlist and in my past video i have covered the uh, trigger and types of trigger and what is the schedule trigger this uh, trigger video we are going to split into or uh, three parts because video was getting longer so let me introduce my channel my channel name is the cloud box and in this channel i mostly upload video related to the azure data engineering consists of data factory and the data bricks and azure devops which consists all the tools and skills which is going to help you out on the day to day activities if you are already working in the data engineering which i upload mostly video related on the use cases if you are someone who are new to the azure data engineering and if you want to transform yourself in data engineering this is the right place here you can learn everything from scratch okay without wasting time let's come to the topic what is the what we are going to cover in this video so in this video we are going to cover about the next trigger that is the thumbling window trigger and how this thumbling window trigger is really different from a schedule trigger that we have already discussed in my past video and this is trust me guys this is the most important question in every interview it interviewer will 100% ask from the data factory playlist what is the triggers types of trigger may be and this the difference between a scheduled trigger and thumbling window so after watching this video you you are going to learn what are those types and the doubt about this trigger thumbling window and a scheduled trigger will be a history okay so let's come to the video let's come to the microsoft official site we have already covered so what is the thumbling window trigger so thumbling window trigger is also based on the times interval okay so but we have already time interval in a place with a scheduled trigger why this microsoft introduced this thumbling window again okay okay so let's come to the data factory page itself okay we are going to in enter in manage tab here we are going to select this new button we have already shown you how to create triggers let's give the name then let's give trigger name and let's say you are selecting any pipeline but here i am not selecting any pipeline just i'm going to show you okay so uh, description you can always give what is going to do and all those things so if you see this type so here only we can see four type of trigger earlier it was only three we'll cover it later in part of video so first we see the schedule trigger you see line by line this is start date you are going to mention start date the time zone you can select the recurrence you can select on minutes hour day week month okay probably if you see the difference we can see with the naked eyes only what is the main difference the moment i select the thumbling as if you specify end date you are going to select end date annotation this start trigger on creation these things you are going to see okay. so let's come to my pipeline okay let's create one pipeline and uh, okay let's create one pipeline and we'll see like this pipeline is nothing going to run because this for running pipeline i need to uh, see whether all the data sets are uh, uh, correct or not but here what is going we are going to see we are going to take a wait activity inside the wait activity we are going to wait for five seconds and then we are simply going to execute this let me save this okay let me save this first we have created this p2 underscore bit okay so let's go again and understand this uh we have created right that uh, to wait we can write so it is always a good practice you give a name it is easily going to identify for which uh, pipeline it is going to work and what type of this is okay so if you see this schedule trigger these these options are coming the moment you select the thumbling window right so many option has left okay if you see in the schedule trigger we have option on uh, daily right here we can only see minutes hour and month this is the main difference right probably the schedule trigger has more scope for uh, i mean running the job on the based on the schedule time okay we can see a specify end date that is the same one thing was there in scheduled time 
we have this UTC option like time zone. Probably if we are in a different location and we want to schedule that pipeline on based on some other location timing, you are working in India but working for American client, UK client or some European client. So you want to schedule the pipeline based on their timings. So there you can go ahead and select this schedule trigger, right? But if you are only working in India, right? And uh, you do not have option to probably you need to give the time and based on their timing. So you can need to manually choose the time and it should be accurate. This is the one way difference. Okay. The second difference in the thumbling window, you can see this is the advanced tab is coming and what you will see what the hell is this? Why this advanced option? What the extra thing we need to add it here, right? So in the schedule one, if you select this, there is nothing related to advanced, right? So we'll come and see what it is all about, the, this advanced tab, okay. So if we come this, okay. So you can see this uh, dependency, add dependency, okay. So you can relate, right? There is something related to the dependency on this trigger, okay. So there is, uh, so let's say, I have uh, one trigger in place, okay. and uh, Okay, so uh, we'll come to later on this part. So I have one trigger already in place and I want to see whether that trigger run. After that only I need to trigger this thumbling window. Otherwise, I mean, there is no make sense, right? This first operation failed and still you are going to execute this. This is going to run and this is also going to fail. Maybe it has some uh, dependency. So first what we'll do, uh, let's create one more trigger, okay, first come. So we can see this uh, schedule trigger is already in place. So let's, okay, my bad, uh, let's create this <coughs> and let's say this is the zero one. one. Let's select this uh, tumbling window and uh, we have occurrence of like uh, one minute. Okay, we need to give at least uh, five minutes. Okay, so let me click this. This advanced option will come later, and the end date we select for the 24. Okay, this is going to select two days only, and the time we can select this. Okay, let's start the trigger and let's create this. Okay. So this trigger is already created and we can see no pipeline got attached to this trigger. Let's come here. Uh, let's go to wait. You can see these two options are coming for running the executing pipeline, but we are interested in the trigger option. Let's choose the trigger. We'll choose the humbling window. Okay, here also you can go ahead and if you have missed uh, there, so you can attach it here. So. Uh, if you have already created the pipeline and the parameters are in place, you need to give the parameters here. But we have no parameters, so just save it. Meanwhile, if you cover the more topics on this, it is going to execute and we will see the execution. Okay. So, okay. So, we are discussing about this uh, thumbling window, right? So, we are going to create one more thumbling window. Okay. And let's give the this name 02. Okay, let's select this tumbling window and uh, go to advance. Right, go to advance. Let's uh, select this one. Okay, okay, so uh, let's say it is saying. So, what is the main difference for this, right? This thumbling window trigger will check the first trigger whether it is going to execute or not. If that got executed, so then only it is going to execute uh, this one. Okay, so let's say I am giving this 0 0.0 colon 0 0.1 colon 0 0. Okay. So, what is going to check 
it will check for the trigger that we have already created if it is got executed successfully then only it is going to execute okay so let's uh, how many times like you can see like how till time it's going to wait okay so it is as soon as the window period is start it is going to execute retry policy if you can see like whether it got failed so you can go ahead and retry this retry interval like how many times it is going to retry retry interval like after how many seconds the pipeline got failed it is going to execute just start it okay this is the one main difference that was not in place in the schedule trigger okay so if we have any uh, dependencies for within a pipeline within a trigger so probably you will choose a thumbling window you will not choose a schedule trigger that is the second difference the first difference was schedule trigger has a more scope for the timing and dates the second difference was a schedule trigger has a utc option rather than thumbling window has no utc option but the thumbling window has option of dependencies right if there is a dependency it will check and then it is going to execute that's good the fourth difference will be the thumbling window will see like whether the same pipeline have the thumbling window 2 or not let's check how uh, what is the relationship okay so we can see this go ahead and select this so here also you see the thumbling window also have many relationship right one uh, i mean uh, pipeline can have a multiple thumbling window trigger okay so let's check for this pipeline so one trigger can have multiple pipeline or let's go and select this probably you will see right the thumbling window trigger one thumbling window trigger can be attached to the only one pipeline but one pipeline can have a multiple thumbling okay let me confirm this okay one thumbling window trigger one pipeline okay multiple pipeline can have i mean you understand it right so multiple pipeline can have a multiple thumbling window triggers but one thumbling window trigger can be attached to only one pipeline okay but one pipeline can have a multiple thumbling window trigger that you are understanding but it was not in case of a scheduled trigger a scheduled trigger one scheduled trigger have multiple pipeline and multiple pipeline have a multiple scheduled trigger that was the main thing this i wanted to discuss let's come and see whether our that wait activity got successful or not it was the waiting time was for uh, like uh, five some, uh, minutes right so okay probably it not got executed and maybe we have chosen the wrong date so i guess this video help you in the understanding about the what is the thumbling window and what is the scheduled trigger right so i hope uh, you would be able to answer the differences and you would be easily implement thank you so much stay tuned for the next video thank you bye